Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to this evening's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin chart today. As we can see, we're getting a quite a big move to the upside right now as we are speaking. I want to go over the current support and resistance levels, how I am trading this right now and how we can actually approach this going into the weekend start of next week. The absolutely crucial levels that we are trading off of on Bitcoin as well as I actually want to give you some tips for altcoins. So this is a bit of a both for best of both worlds. We're going to be looking at Bitcoin. You're going to be getting the best analysis on YouTube, period, as well as taking a brief look at the altcoins. So what more could you want? There is nothing else. Let's begin the analysis because we are obviously getting a bit of a tiny bit of a pullback starting here. So let's go over some of the levels. OK, so really simply, um, I want, want, to, want to try and keep this on under 10 minutes. We had been going down today in a parallel channel well, over the past few days. We had been slowly working our way downwards inside of this parallel channel. You could also class it as like a falling wedge type parallel channel move. Okay, we had obviously had been trading down and within within that channel. And what happened? We obviously have now seen that like move to the upside, the back test of the channel and, um, you know, coming up to this last high. And you can see with the volume behind this, it's like on a, on a pretty strong move. OK, so there's a few things that you could have done, particularly over the last few days. The first thing is, is trade the channel. Um, the second thing was wait for the break of that channel with that with that really big sign of strip. I mean, look at the volume on the break. I actually want to show you the post I'm referring to here. So you can see at 1442. Uh, so as soon as we got that break, I was posting this in the group that, you know, alerting them we've broken that channel now and we've got obviously got the back test of that channel. And on top of the break of the downward sloping channel we're trading, we've now got the back test. And not only that, you can see this is the break right here. Look at the volume, 80 million plus volume. That's a really strong breakout. OK, so we saw the really strong break. We then got the back test on a decrease in open interest and volume. And then we got this subsequent move back up to the upside. And look at this, 100, 110 million, 124 million, 66 million, 62 million. The currently what we're in right now, 11 million. But this this candle has, um, you know, halfway through coming into a bit of not more consolidation. So what we can acknowledge and recognize is, first of all, we obviously had to be aware of, of the channel if you weren't aware of that. Uh, Tune into uh, some of the Chart Champions updates. <laughs> obviously, we go do the daily updates. You got some from George throughout the week. You got some from Victor throughout the week. You obviously got me in the Discord. Be aware of the channels, and then once you're aware of the channels, look at the volume and the order flow as it's coming in because this was a great sign, um, you know, of the breakout of the volume and then the continuation on this. One would say one has to apply a certain degree of caution if you're looking for shorts. I haven't shorted any of this, by the way, yet. And, um, you know, looking for, for the, you know, just giving you that sign of strength. So we obviously are at a resistance point right now. So you might be wondering, OK, you know, is this now a decent time to start looking for shorts? And the answer is potentially because what is the first resistance that you're up against? If we just put on our technical analysis, you can see what's actually happened here. We come up to this like last major high. We've kind of gone above this level, spend some time around it. We're, we're starting to pull back a little bit now. What I would be looking at, or what I am going to be looking at right now, is to see, first of all, if we get a trend change on, you know, towards a three, five minute time frame and really an actual loss of this support. We obviously do have the potential of trap longs, but at the moment, I would lean this on the sign of strength until we actually get exactly what I've just said, a, a local trend change. And actually seeing the price come below, you know, where we saw major longs open, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable not to jump or not to ape into a short position here. I'm not going to ape into a short. I'm going to play it sensibly, calm, collected. Hey, if I miss the top of this, I'm fine because of the strength that we've got off of the back of this rise. I'm going to be looking for higher. We might be thinking, OK, where's the next potential level to the upside? Of course, it's going to be looking up towards this daily at 42,000. If we can if we smash straight through that, I'll, of course, look to the next level to the upside. But at daily, I'm not going to forget it there at 42,000. So currently we have been trading this over the past few days. We broke, we back tested, moved to the upside into the first big level of resistance, which is obviously into these highs, which we have got a bit of a pullback from now. I'm personally not going to jump into the short straight away. I'll see if we get the sign of strength. I'm, 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 I'm OK and open to shorting, but I would prefer to see a sign of weakness, first of all, because of the strength of the break. OK, so for me, it's understanding this context. It's reading the volume. Of course, it's not going to give me 100 percent win rate. We could obviously fall down from here, but on the long term strategy, you know, this is how I'm getting the win rates that I get. OK, so maybe I might miss this trade, but guess what? It's better to miss a trade than take a poor trade and lose money. OK, so I'm comfortable shorting this lower if I'm incorrect on the analysis. 
you know, at least I'm not taking a loss on this. I'm actually still in a long position at the moment. So, you know, I'm open to uh, acknowledging this market. I'm reading the order flow at, at the moment. As you can see, for me, and I hope if you understand what we're looking at here, it's not a, there's no known weakness here locally. So I'm keeping my eye on it. Absolutely, I am. And um, I, I also said that I want to do a quick update on altcoins because I feel that the altcoins right now are, are in a really, 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 really nice position. Just two quick updates, uh, announcements that I want to give you here before we look at the altcoins. And we'll obviously take a look at still at Bitcoin here five minutes into the video. Let's go. So the first uh, first announcement that I want to do is just reminding you all or not even a reminder. This is new. We actually have a second YouTube channel. So this is going to be more for, for of like the vlogs, quicker, quick uh, trading updates. So give a give a, a, a subscribe to our second YouTube channel. I'll leave all of this in the description down below. That's just CC Paul. <laughs> of course, it had to be. No, uh, I've got a second uh, Twitter channel now which is just CC Paul underscore Daniel. And I'm going to obviously, well, this isn't obvious. I always say obviously, but it's not always not, not sometimes not obvious. We have an Instagram and a TikTok. So for this is for behind the scenes footage. I'm coming obviously this weekend to meet up with Bybit. So I'm going to put the behind the scenes footage of this over on the Instagram stories. Okay, as well as uh, yeah, nice long position, mate. Well done. I had 23 hours ago, and uh, and I'm also going to be doing some quick, uh, you know, short videos on on the TikTok just to see see what happens over there. I'm quite interested in it. So, hey, give us a follow on all of those social medias. I'll leave them in the comments down below. Okay, and that was the the first announcement. Let's just take a quick look again here at the Bitcoin chart. Uh, so we saw about five million shorts open, but again, this for me is not a sign of weakness until we until we see actually initial trend change. And I just want to do now a quick overview of the altcoins because I actually do want to trade this. I do want to keep this quite short and sweet, to be honest with you. So a uh, quick look at the altcoins. I want to give you a tip on the altcoins. Yeah, so this is really, really, really good, nice tip. I know some of you um, are going to be in a position of you, you're not so comfortable, you know, day trading these uh, range, you know, th this type of range or channel. You're not comfortable taking the breakouts. You, you, you kind of want to get the easier swing trades because I'm not going to lie. This is fairly high level skilled. If you're not a skilled trader, it's very likely that you would have lost money within this channel. It was it was for skilled traders only. You have to be understand how to read the volume, understand the order flow, because otherwise I, I, I do think you would have lost money. So if you are at your beginning, beginning of education you are still learning to trade per se okay which is probably the majority of, of our viewership uh, and you're not comfortable taking these day trades you want to wait for the swing trades well that's when you have to be remaining patient though for your outer boundaries of the range it's obviously the lower daily the higher daily obviously if you break these levels you trade it to the next levels you have to have your, done your analysis but um yeah, if you, if you are more of a beginner trader and you're waiting for those swing trades, well, guess what? While you're waiting for those swing trades on Bitcoin, there is an advantageous altcoin market to be taking advantage of right now. Okay, The altcoin market is extremely volatile, where Bitcoin is going you know, fairly unvolatile. It's not really moving that much. Okay, The altcoin market is absolutely exploding. Uh, primarily, in my opinion, opinion, because of obviously Ethereum getting that absolute perfect backtest of the triangle, which I know for a fact we've had on for absolutely months now. You know, I'm talking about f about five months we've had this uh, this this triangle on. We backtested that a few weeks ago. Um, and obviously the move, subsequent move to the upside has really fueled and helped these alts. We all know the correlation between the Ethereum and the altcoins. So, I mean, look today. Uh, obviously, this Jamsy one has just been insane over the past week. You've seen this one called Ape Tether. Uh, oh, yeah, this, the tip that I wanted to give you is go to buybit.com forward slash data forward slash markets. OK, and you're presented with this type of page uh, where you can just click on the percentage changes. So if you want to trade a, and, and practice when a volatile asset, of course, this also requires a degree of caution, more volatility. OK, this is going to this is really going to um, you, you do have to have a certain degree of skill as well here, of course. Don't just come in here and randomly trade things. But, um, you know, you can practice here with your with your accounts on your paper trades. And, you know, you've got very volatile assets. In my opinion, if you want to know the ones that I'm trading that I believe are really well respecting the technical analysis, that will be sand. OK, that will be sand. That will be rune has been really nice. Obviously, phantom. But for me, it's it's sand, Luna, rune. Sold to a certain degree, sushi, sushi, sushi to a certain degree. Those are the ones at the moment which are like really, 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 really nice to trade. But um, you know, if you if you're feeling a bit, you want to practice on some volatile assets, come over to this markets page and look at the most volatile assets. Of course, you want to take a look at the volume behind it. Oh, another one that's actually been a a a v e, and the other one beginning with a that I've been trading a v a x. Yeah, yeah, I've been trading quite a few altcoins to be honest with you. But that's because I recognised very early on that it's likely that they're going to be volatile because of what happened on Ethereum. So it's just like, you know, recognizing these type of things and, and taking advantage of it. And so uh, let, let me just take another quick look at Bitcoin here. 
Okay, so you can see here, this is what I'm really looking at here. We are higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. We hadn't actually broken that yet with that another higher low made. So this is what I'm going to be watching to see if we break that, that higher low there. Currently coming in uh, there. So yeah, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna be keeping my eye on that because I really don't want to miss the, the short if it's given. But at the moment, <clears throat> you know, still agreeing. There's, there's no signs of weakness. Let's see if we can push up higher here on the Bitcoin chart. I really hope you've enjoyed this really urgent update that I had to give you. And uh, of course, there's one final announcement I want to give you. And that is that, yes, uh, of course, we are the most highest volume trading team on Bybit. That comes with its perks. We are undoubtedly wells of this market that do have an influence on the price. That is absolutely no joke. And this weekend, I am going out to to uh, to the F1. Of course, Bybit are sponsors of Red Bull. It's going to beat the Red Bull team over there. And um, yeah, I'm going to obviously try my absolute hardest to get you all the best deal for the new, obviously, Bybit changing their, their fee structure. Everybody that's in the Chart Champions affiliate team, um, I'm basically going to try and get you all boosted up to VIP status within within Bybit. So this is like going to be absolutely amazing if I manage to do this. Of course, it's going to be difficult, but then you have to remember we <laughs> help Bybit a lot because I'm basically pushing so much volume on the exchange. I mean, I'm trading... Uh, let's just say I'm trading a lot with them. So <laughs> so to say they can do me some favors, fingers crossed. I hope they do because you guys deserve it. You really do. But um, yeah, if you want to join our affiliate team, it's really simple. If you already have a Bybit account that's not under us, you just simply have to create a new Bybit account using the uh, link, which again, I'll just put in the description down below, create a new account under our affiliates and you'll join the CC pool team on Bybit. And um, yeah, I'm basically going to try and get everybody the, you know, it's a big, big, big decrease in fees if I can pull it off so um yeah if you want to if you want to take advantage of that that i'm going to be getting for everybody within the chart champions team on bybit you can create a new account with our affiliates link and you will just really simply join our team and if i can pull that off this weekend hey i'm going to absolutely try my best because <laughs> because why not i'm going to absolutely try and so uh yeah there's that final announcement that i wanted to give you and um yeah that's 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 about it. Let's spend a few more minutes here looking at this together. Okay, this is still really nice at the moment. And I mean, this is why the order flow is really advantageous. Okay, so yeah, final things. Oh yeah, I, I suppose I'll, I'll do a few of the behind the scenes ones over on the, on the Instagram or the TikTok. So you can give us a follow on those if you want to see that little... What I mean by behind the scenes is like just those little captures, fair 10, 15 seconds, uh, you know, things like this. Um, so... Yeah, that's about everything that I wanted to talk about. So yeah, CC Paul, send their regards. We've still not got anything going on here. So let's just keep our this. I'm going to keep my eyes on this. And it's pretty nice still. And uh, yeah, where are we at? 12 minutes. I I'll wrap it up then, I suppose. If you have enjoyed and you enjoy you liked me doing this urgent update, you can absolutely smash that like button. Obviously, I asked you over on Twitter, do you want it? And obviously, the answer was absolutely yes. 19 minutes ago, already 300 people saying absolutely yes. So, ah, there you go. You ask, you get, you want, you get, da -da -da -da, everything. I love you all so much. Thank you ever so much. And uh, yeah, I'll leave the links in the description that you can sign up to uh, buy a bit and make some use of our... Uh, of our Crazy good team. So thank you ever so much, everybody. Have a brilliant weekend. I will uh, catch you on Monday, I suppose. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And have, oh no, final thing before I end. Of course, everything I've covered is not financial advice. I've just gone through this for the educational purpose only. Entertainment, educational only. No financial advice. Very important legal disclaimer, trade disclaimer. Uh, pause and read that. And um, yeah, thank you once again. Look at this. Still pushing up. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> you know what to look out for and that's me saying thank you once again cheers and goodbye <laughs>